Greetings to all who watch this video. As usual, we are very glad to see you on our channel. We came to another search for ancient artifacts and interesting things. For today we have planned to visit two places. One place is in this forest, and the other is on a plowed field. We'll start perhaps from the field, and a little later, we'll move to another place, into the forest. Today's weather makes us happy and I hope that the finds will also please us. Stay on our channel and in any case do not switch. We will start looking. We already went out on the field and started to work. It took quite a bit of time and I found the first find. I got an old buckle. This finding has a very simple and uncomplicated appearance, so I will not stay long. Let's continue looking. A little later, a good signal sounded. I dug this signal and saw a coin. So far, I cannot see anything because of the dirt. Let's clean the find and look at it closer. It turns out, basically there is nothing to see. It looks very awful. Some letters are seen here, and judging by these letters, it was Danga. Year of manufacture, approximately 1730th. In some fields I don't really like coins condition. I don't know what the appearance of the find depends on. It depends on the soil, although I'm sure that not only on this, but on many other aspects. I will go further. Some time later I found another find. I got some kind of incomprehensible copper thing. On this find there are inscriptions that are not very clear. Perhaps one of you can say something about this. Write in the comments under the video, what it is, if you know of course. I will continue. I dug out another signal that sounded in the metal sector and found a rather dangerous find. To be honest, I did not expect to dig out something like that. I took a closer look at this grenade and saw that fortunately, it was empty. Now I can safely take it in my hand and do not be afraid that it will explode. Even though this grenade is empty, it's still unpleasant to find such things. At home it will be possible to bring this find into order with the help of mechanical cleaning and we will get a good entourage. Let's go further. After a while we dug up another one old coin. I hope that after cleaning it will look better than the previous one, because that coin was just ugly. Well, let's see. This time with the appearance of the coin we were more fortunate. This coin has survived quite well compared to that, although that coin is almost 150 years older than this, but this fact doesn't justify such a terrible appearance. I think you will agree. This is one Copic of 1873. In that era the Emperor Alexander II was in power. An excellent find. Let's continue.
we moved to the forest. Earlier in here somewhere an old farm was located, the only problem is to determine exactly where. The problem is that this farm was relatively small, and the old maps are not very accurate. After some time we found some kind of coin, and most likely, Soviet one. Yes, this is a coin of the pre-reform period of the USSR. After my partner cleaned the coin, it began to shine and I like it. This is 20 kopecks of 1948. In the forest, the coins are very well preserved, and even more so, those consisting of copper and nickel. Look, the back side also looks good. An excellent find. Let's continue. I just got lucky. I walked with the metal detector right on the road. Here sounded a good signal and I dug out a pleasant find. Who would have thought that on the road I would find silver? At a depth of about 4 inches was a silver coin, which you can now see. This find instantly raised my mood to heaven. I am very glad. It is immediately evident that the coin is in good condition. Let's finally clean this find. I simply don't have words, and words are not needed here. You already see that this finding looks stunning. This is 20 kopecks of 1871. At that time the Russian Empire was ruled by Emperor Alexander II and in my opinion, today we already found some coin of this ruler. I look at this coin and don't admire it, it's wonderful. I want such findings to please me as often as possible. Cool find. Well, our expedition came to an end. We had a great day. On the shovel you can see all finds that history has given us. We hope that you were interested to watch this video. In order not to miss the next video, go and subscribe to our channel. Click on the bell and receive notifications of new series. Also do not forget to share this video on social networks and with friends. We wish you good luck and many valuable finds. See you soon.